What is going on guys, it's your Mata, and today, um, you might notice that I'm not starting off with a montage, and that's because I kind of want to talk about where I was. I have no excuse for this one, except some technical difficulties, but, um, I'm sorry I wasn't here for a little bit, I think it was like a, a week, or, or something, I'm sorry, but here goes the montage, you ready? No you're not, you're not ready. Alright, just go. All right, we just got through that, and boom, we just made it to the top five best guns in... <laughs> top five best weapons in Black Ops 3 Zombie. And so this top five is actually going to be pretty heavily edited because, you know, I haven't been in YouTube for... Hey, quite hey, can you stop? N nobody cares, just... Just start the top five. Who, who are you? You don't need to know. But seriously, um, let's get started in this top five best weapons in Black Ops 3. By the way, the background is pretty noisy. If you do hear some Overwatch rip. Smell. In our number one spot, we got the Mooster. I don't know what it's called. But Pack Punch actually makes the Boom Hilder. Now, this is the best, probably the best, it's super good. <laughs> Pack a punch to starting pistol we got. Let me show you the gameplay. I love this pistol, especially pack a bunch because it does a lot of damage against the panzers and the zombies. It's only found in Origins and I really really love this starting pistol. It's I got to be my favorite starting pistol of all time. By the way, I forgot to say that I already made this top 5 before. I'm just making it again because that one was only on Goa Krovi. And let's be honest, it was pretty bad. What is up guys, it's Armada, and today we are doing something that we never did in the channel before, and it's a top five. This is my first ever top five, and it's cringe. I'm sorry for that um, moment, but let's continue with the Boom Hilder, and oh, there's really not a lot to say. It's just a pistol that has a giant little scope when you pack a punch it, and a really good pistol. I don't know how it got to be so good with pack a punch. With and if you guys haven't tried this starting pistol, make sure you guys save it because it's really good in Origins. So make sure you guys try that. No, but seriously, Boom Hilder is in our number five spot. In our number four spot, we got kind of a new one. No, but we actually got a starting pistol shotgun. Now, I love shotguns, if you guys don't know. I love the Brit. It was so close to being in this top five. Um, but we got the Dragon's Glare, which I don't know what it's called. I know it starts with an R, unpack a punch, but it's the starting room shotgun. And when you pack a punch it, it becomes the Dragon's Glare. Now, this is super good. Immediately, it does a lot of damage. When you get close to a zombie, when you shoot it, disintegrates them and they're just not there. With Panzers, it's also really good because you could just keep using it and then it just reloads really fast. So it's like, Poof best sound effects ever but um i really love the dragon's glare um it's super easy to obtain with a wall power if you just got that you're pretty much set in any map but the dragon's glare i love it so much but this is really good in black ops 3 any of the bosses like the panzers margras thrashers and other monsters like that and normal zombies are really really vulnerable to this shotgun and that's why it's in the number four spot so yeah that's actually why it's here and that's a pretty good explanation number three um, number three is the AK-74U, and this is actually a pretty re re at and this is actually, a uh, damn it. And this gun, it was actually added very recently. Um, the most recent update to Zombies Chronicles is the AK-74U edition and the M111, but the AK-74U is are really really good and which is why is in the third spot in this top five of best guns in my opinion is the ak-74u i love the ak-74u um saying that is 
pretty hard. But AK-74U is basically an assault rifle, your classic one, but I don't know what makes this one so special. I just really, really like it. It comes with a free scope, but we can't really edit it out or put in an ELO sight or anything, but I feel like I'm just fine with this one. Playing Kino with the AK, 74U um, is very good, especially when it's Pack-A-Punch, you're definitely gonna get in high round. It's just a very quick gun, it's not slow, it's not very full of ammo, but it's just right, like it's just perfect. The AK-74U has always been loved, and that's why they brought it back to Zombies Chronicles, and I definitely am happy that it actually came back, because AK-74U is really really good but yeah when you do pack a punch it again with like blast furnace and dead wire this gun becomes really really good i just don't know why it's just a really good gun but that's why it comes in our number three spot and in our number two spot we got the ppsh now probably you guys saw this coming probably didn't you probably saw it in the first place but I feel like there's a better one in the first place that you guys hopefully are not just skipping through. If I were them, I would. Can I get a rip in the chat? The PPSH has always been a fan favorite gun, and when they brought it back to <coughs> when they brought it back to Gorod Krovi, um, a lot of people said that it wasn't as good as it was before, but I felt like the PPSH was a really good gun. PPSH in Gorod Krovi, I feel like it's just the same. Pack a punch is also really, really cool to have on the PPSH, and with the dead wire, especially that that's one deadly combination. I'm trying not to curse. I'm sorry. Just gotta get that ad revenue. But seriously, the PPSH has always been one of my favorite, and probably no, it actually is into the second. But yeah, PPSH is in our number two spot. Pack punch is also a really good combination. If you guys have not tried the PPSH ever, and you guys do have. The Gorod Krovi DLC map, which, how did you not even use it? But make sure you guys go back to that and just try it out and tell me that it's not good. Tell me. Because if you do tell me, I'm gonna kill you. Alright, in our number one spot- ah, Just kidding. You know, if you guys have been with me through all my toss fives, I always, always have an honorable mention. So, in our honorable mentions, we got- What did we get again? We got the Man of War. And now, you guys may not understand the relationship I have with the Man of War, but I felt like this gun is super duper good. I loved this gun. And I honestly would kind of put it in the number two spot. If you guys don't like it, leave. Leave. But no, seriously, I love you guys. Don't leave. But, um... The Man of War is, used to be my number one favorite gun, but not anymore because there's a number one. But Pack a Punch is really, really good. And something about the Pack a Punch really just really caught my eye. In the beginning of this channel, I also needed a name for my channel. And so um, I kind of decided to go through the names of the Pack a Punch because I felt like they had really cool names. And I went up to my favorite gun, the Man of War, Pack-a-Punch, and it was called the Dread Armada, and then I cut out the Dread, and then made Armada, and, um, you know, I kind of had, like, a little relationship there. I love you, and that's why it's in the thumbnail of the video. But yeah, that's kind of my little, little relationship with the Man of War. Let me know if you guys actually do enjoy the Man of War, too, because, you know, I do. Nobody does. All right, in our number one spot my favorite all-time gun in black ops 3 is the galil now to be honest the galil is my favorite gun in black ops 3 just because of how much ammo how it looks and obviously we got the galil before but in zombies chronicles they remastered it and brought it back and i love this gun pack punched or not it does a lot of damage unpack punched it does a damage of a pack a punched vmp i love this gun so much you guys have to understand i love this gun more than the man of war 
and that's my channel name. But yes, I love the Galil so much when it's pack punch. And if you have dead wire, you're gonna make it to round 100 even when you don't want to. But yeah, the Galil is my favorite gun in all Black Ops 3. And if you guys don't agree with my top five, make sure you guys comment down below what is your top five and if you guys agreed with my top five. But yeah, more top fives are coming. Never forget the top five playlist. Um, I really enjoy doing these top five. I feel like I'm getting more connected and I haven't done a face cam in a while. That's why I'm doing it. But yeah, make sure you guys check out my Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch link down in the description below. And make sure you subscribe and leave a like on this video and turn on notifications because I will need making a video on the Zombies comics if you guys all piled up. Uh, if you guys want to see that, make sure you turn on those notifications. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And... No, that's it. That's a wrap. Oh, is it still recording?